uh, the coats, the hats before the Halloween costumes this year. Jerry, it was early. <laughs> Smell of mothballs this morning. Yeah, right, right. Here is. <laughs> Folks got the coats out for the first time. It was cold this morning. Another yeah. cold one tonight. Not as bad as last night, though. And the warming trend will really kick in tomorrow. You're going to feel it being a whole lot warmer tomorrow afternoon than it is right now. Chelsea Tire Pros right now looking fine. Skies overhead clear, plenty of sunshine. That's the view at Highway 280 there in the city of Chelsea. The warming trend now underway. Still rather cold tonight. Most of us in the 30s, some of us getting some frost. Some rain expected next week. Not a tremendous amount, but hopefully around the middle of the week we'll get some rain. For now, we see none on the WVTM 13 Live Doppler. We are indeed dry. Temperatures came up a little bit today. 60 at Fort Payne, 62 in the Magic City. 64 in Tuscaloosa, 63 degrees in Clanton, so fairly comfortable out there, but it will fall quickly again this evening. Just won't get as cold as it was last night. Down to 49 into the 40s by 9 o'clock, mid 40s by 11. Overnight lows in Birmingham about 38, but places like Gadsden will still get down to about 32 tonight, so quite cold there. We do see temperatures much higher today than yesterday out here. Bismarck, North Dakota, 81 degrees. Helena, Montana, 70 degrees, so really warming up here. The mile high city of Denver is close to 80. When you see that, you know it's pretty warm. Some of that's going to come eastward and warm us up. 77 on Saturday, 79 on Sunday, so a beautiful weekend coming in. It looks like there'll be a few clouds, but otherwise no chance of rain and very comfortable afternoon temperatures. For UAB in Bowling Green, Kentucky, playing Western Kentucky, the weather's going to be fine. A little breezy perhaps first thing. 61 degrees, falling down to about 55. Not bad at all. And for the Crimson Tide at home, Tuscaloosa for Saturday evening looks great. 70 degrees at kickoff, down to about 60 or so. A fine evening, and both venues will feature excellent weather for football. As we look at our forecast model, we see here clear skies in place. Every once in a while in the northwest flow, a few thin high clouds come down. That'll be the case again tomorrow, but it's not going to wreck our Friday by any means. They'll be thin. The sun will shine right through them. No big deal with that. And no sign of precipitation. We're looking way west of Oklahoma and Kansas. Still dry all the way westward, as you can see. 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. A few scattered clouds. That's about it. Going to be a good night for high school football. Tonight will be, too. Skies overhead generally clear and temperatures not bad at all. So enjoy that. Good timing for the weekend. Hopefully we'll finally get some rain next week. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow, turning warmer, 72 the high temperature, so a nice bounce over today. 75 on Saturday with a good supply of sunshine, 77 Sunday. We'll keep the dry weather Monday, probably during the day Tuesday, but I'll go with a slight chance of a shower, 75 then. Better chance on Wednesday. Amounts don't look big. They look like, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch or something like that, perhaps less than that. Then I think clouds will linger on Thursday with temperatures in the mid-70s. Ian.